Hi everyone, today I'm here to talk about the tragedy that befell head teacher Ruth Perry and the failure of Ofsted to adequately respond. Ruth Perry, head teacher of Caversham Primary School in Berkshire, took her own life after a critical Ofsted inspection downgraded her school from the highest rating of outstanding to the lowest grade, inadequate. Ruth's family are rightly devastated and accuse Ofsted of being totally insensitive and deaf to the urgency of calls for meaningful reform. In light of Ruth's death, Ofsted's chief inspector, Amanda Spielman, has offered a series of changes to its school inspection regime, which aim to offer greater support for school leaders. Unfortunately, these changes seem to be too little, too late and that the people in power do not seem to understand what must be done. Indeed, the General Secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders, Jeff Barton, has said that despite the Chief Inspector's insistence that the grading system plays an integral part in the school system, the truth is that it is the grading system that is the single biggest problem. It reduces everything that a school does to a blunt single word description, and when this is below good, it is deeply stigmatizing and damaging to the school concerned. This is something that Education Secretary Gillian Keegan wholeheartedly agrees with. Ruth's family have asked that Ofsted commission a review of the inspection conducted at her sister's school, as well as an independent review of Ofsted's culture and structure, in the hope that they may make changes to the organization that allow schools and leaders to recover from critical inspections. However, it looks like right now, Ofsted is maintaining its position that the current system is adequate, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. We must all hope that something changes, and soon. Ruth Perry's death is too big a tragedy for it to simply be forgotten about. We need to make sure that the tragedy of her death is not in vain and that something is done to prevent these kinds of horrendous stories from ever happening again. Thank you for joining me, and good luck to everyone striving for reform.